Hi everyone, it's Maggie again here in Old Mystic with the uh, Alliance for the Mystic River Watershed and CT Deep Alewife River Herring Count. You can see I'm in the park and I'm standing next to Whitford Brook, which is looking lovely today. It's bright and sunny. If we look straight down into it, we can see it's fairly clear because we haven't had very much rain recently. But we do have some glare, there's some shadows. So we're going to be putting a whiteboard in the bottom of this eventually so that you'll be able to see when the fish swim over it. In the meantime, there are some polarized lenses here which should help with the glare. These just go right on your face. These bigger ones can go over your glasses. Possibly your glasses already have polarized lenses and that should help a little bit with the glare. You can also just move up and down the, uh, the park here to see if you can find a better location. Um, be careful if you're watching from the bridge. You're also welcome just to go over to the edge on the other side, but, but really be, um, be cautious there because this is a major road. So then if you're here early in the morning or late in the day, um, you're going to want to see if anyone has taken water temperature yet. So this morning, somebody did take the water temperature, oh look, MF, that was me, and entered it in the morning. Um, we probably don't need to take the water temperature every 15 minutes. So what, uh, what I did was to write down water temperature at six. That was using a different thermometer than the one I'm using now. So all of this is still experimental. We're just trying to see what will work. Um, behind this, there is also a, some worksheets, just pieces of paper that have the data on them that you would need to gather. That's just in case you can't make the app work or can't uh, get, get the data entered digitally while you're here. So, back to the thermometer. First thing you're going to want to do is loop the end around your wrist so that you don't lose it and then turn it on and you can see we already have it set to Celsius but if you need to adjust it you can and then take the thermometer and we're going to put it in the water but we're not going to submerge it so we'll let it go down in the water and then we can just hold it. You can see it's not all the way out to the end of, the, of my wrist here. Um, there's a, a little post down at the end that if you wanted to tie it around that post, you probably could. But it's going to take three or four minutes to actually settle into a temperature. So while we're waiting for it to, uh, to do its thing, let's keep watching. See if we see any fish.